and to you, my fellow teachers, what is an effective teacher? Let me share with you Khalil Gibran's thinking about an effective teacher and to him. An effective teacher is one who does not bid his or her letters enter the house of his wisdom, but rather bid them to the threshold of their own minds. An effective teacher is provocative, always asking thought-provoking questions that will encourage the students to think deeply about the questions and to think of the answers that may not be the same answers given by others. A teacher plays the role of a leader, an enthusiast, an entertainer, making her lessons very engaging and entertaining so that the student's interest can be aroused and sustained. A humanist, a sentinel, an optimist, a collaborator and a revolutionary, trying things out, experimenting and exploring so that the students are engaged in lessons that get them transformed as individuals applying the whole brain learning. The K-12 teachers must possess the five C's. And what are these five C's? The first C is commitment. This question is associated to that commitment. What on earth am I here for? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Somebody said that a life devoted to things is a dead life, a stump. But a God-shaped life is a flourishing tree. Are you the flourishing tree? Anne Sullivan, the teacher of Helen Keller, has something to share with us. She said, Teaching, like any truly human activity, emerges from one's inwardness. When I do not know myself, I cannot know who my students are. When I do not know myself, I cannot know my subject. Not at the deepest level of my embedded personal meaning. Thus, teaching have the personal meaning in you. You alone can answer the question, and you alone can determine the deepest level of your commitment to the teaching profession. The second C is competence. You may have the commitment, but if you don't have the competence, then what are you going to do in the classroom? Are you going to just be there and follow the lesson that you have been doing for the past 20 years? Or are you competent enough to experiment, to try, to explore and attune your activities so that you can nurture the inner talents of your students? The third C is creativity. In the story Alice in Wonderland, there is a dialogue between the Queen and Alice. Alice said, one can't believe impossible things. I dare say, replied the Queen, you haven't had much practice. Why sometimes I believe as many as ten impossible things before breakfast. Now, Connect the conversation to your own classroom to encourage your students to exercise their creativity for the, those activities that will make them bring out the best in them. What are those learning situations that will encourage them to bring out their creative choices? 
to be creative is to think outside the box. How many times have you done this, fellow teachers? It's there you have the opportunity to offer your students the world to give them life-changing knowledge and experiences, generate and release the possibilities. Compassion, if you have the heart for teaching, if you have the heart for your students, then you have compassion. It is in compassion that teachers touch the lives of their students, nurturing each child with love, care, understanding and patience is not easy but extremely rewarding. These stretch on and on and on your patience and understanding you all. Students knowing that you have diverse learners in your classroom, knowing that your classroom has sunk in adequacy. Do you still maintain that nurturing spirit that each day that your child or student comes to class is a day that is very enriching and rewarding? Character. The first great gift that we can bestow on others is a good example. Do we as teachers walk the talk? 